What's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the, we're continuing the first round of my heavyweight, my, my fantasy heavyweight interactive tournament as this matchup will be the number four seed Tyson Fury versus the number 17 seed Andy Ruiz Jr. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, um, this matchup right here is a good one. You got the former uh, two-time heavyweight champion, former unified heavyweight champ, Tyson Fury, battling the former unified heavyweight champion, Andy Ruiz Jr. Um, on paper, the hype for this fight would be big. Actually, this is a fight that almost happened. Um, you know, Fury wanted uh, Ruiz after um, he beat Wilder in the rematch. And actually, um, last year, there was talks about Fury and Andy Ruiz, but Andy Ruiz priced himself out by asking for way too much money than what he deserved. But Andy Ruiz is a big name. Um, he earned that that big name with that upset over Anthony Joshua in their first fight. Um, that was a huge upset. It was the biggest upset in heavyweight title uh, boxing since um, since Rockman knocked out Lennox Lewis. So Andy Ruiz has a big name. He just does now. Even though he was more viewed as a one-hit wonder, he's got a big name. And Tyson Fury has a huge name. So, this matchup would be very intriguing going in. Be a lot of shit would get talked, especially on Fury's side. Ruiz would talk a lot of shit too, though. Proud Mexican fighter, you know. Um, and this this fight would be uh, widely viewed and um, looked forward to. A lot of people would be looking forward to this matchup. Um, the size difference, though, would be there. You'd have, I mean, Tyson Fury standing at 6'9 versus the 6'2 Andy Ruiz. So a 7-inch height advantage and then an 11-inch reach advantage for Fury. Fury comes over the 85-inch reach to, to Ruiz's 74. So man, there would be significant uh, significance in size. But in terms of weight, I think Tyson Fury probably only, I think he would cut his heaviest he ever came in at for a title fight was like 277. His lightest was 247 for Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, Fury got better as he got older. Um, he did come in at 256 for Usyk, but I think that's tr to try to keep up with a swifter Usyk. Um, Ruiz, because Ruiz floated in um, at a high of 283 and a low of like two, I think his low was like 256 for his biggest fights, um, I think he'd come in probably around 260, 265 for the fight with Fury. Um, and the way the fight would play out, it'd be interesting because Fury would be a solid ass favorite going into this fight. But Ruiz, with his fast hands once he gets on the inside, Fury's questionable chin. Could Ruiz land that big shot? Um, I personally see the size advantage on the height and reach and just the overall skill set of Tyson Fury. I think it would overwhelm Andy Ruiz. I think he would allow Ruiz to come at him, but then he would attack as well. And I see him landing the uppercut and beating up Andy Ruiz. I see it kind of a similar fight to that of um, the showdown that he had with Dillian White. I see him busting up, breaking down um, Dillian White, I mean, you know, Andy Ruiz, um, and I think Fury could finish Ruiz in the, um, by like, between round six and nine. I'd see like in seventh or eighth round stoppage win. It could go later than that. Um, but Andy Ruiz, I think, would get hit a lot in the, 
this fight. Um, and I think Tyson Fury would would bust him up and stop him. Um, Upset-wise, Ruiz would have to land something significant early to really hurt Fury and then just stay in the mix and keep mixing it up of, of like landing big shots, but he'd have to be consistent. And I just don't think um, Ruiz would be able to be that consistent when he would be getting hit with big shots by Fury as he attacked and came in. And I think if he hurt Fury at all, Fury would weather the storm with his with a jab and keep um, Ruiz off of him. And I don't think Ruiz had that huge kind of one punch type power that could overwhelm um, Tyson Fury. Kind of like Wilder, you know? Wilder had that big one punch type power that could um, really bother and almost stop Fury. Um, Usyk landed a combination. He landed a perfectly timed left and then a bunch of punches before Fury looked out on his feet. Um, I don't know if Ruiz could land uh, that powerful of a punch. I don't believe he has the same power as Wilder. And I don't think he has the same kind of timing as um, as Usyk. So, yes, the op you know, the him landing a big shot out of nowhere, it's there, especially Fury's chin. Um, I could see possibly him scoring a knockout here. But I don't see him winning the decision. Um, you know, over Tyson Fury, and I'm really, I, I'm pretty solid that Tyson Fury wins this fight. Um, so that's my pick, Tyson Fury by, let's say, an eighth round TKO over Andy Ruiz Jr. as he advances on to the next round of the tournament. So that's my pick for Fury versus Ruiz. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me your vote. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.